how's it going everybody and welcome to a new smaller series that I'm adding to the channel showing off a settlement that I've been working on in Fallout 4 for quite some time now. I was going to do a whole video showing off the settlement in its entirety but that ended up turning into about an hour and a half long video so I decided to break this down into a few sections basically covering each district of this settlement and yes the settlement does have different districts but more on that later. For now, let's continue on with the tour. Right now, as you can tell, I'm just standing outside of this shack. This is just outside of the entrance of my settlement. And as I walk over here to the right, just past this bus over here, you can see the entrance to my settlement, which as you can probably tell by the title of this video, I've decided to name it Starlight Hub. Now, why Starlight Hub? Well, the idea for this settlement I decided was to be a huge trading post for all of the caravans that pass through the Commonwealth. That being Doc Weathers, Cricket, you know, all of the different traders that you would pass by and see throughout the Commonwealth. Just outside of here, we see a few Brahmin Trouts, just so the caravanners can have their Brahmin be fed right before a long trip. You never know where they're gonna go next. As you can see, we have a gate just outside with enough Minutemen banners to see that this settlement is of course allied to the Minutemen, which I wanted to keep lore friendly, seeing as the Minutemen want to rebuild. Here we can see Doc Weathers and Cricket just standing outside of the gate, probably waiting for their caravan guards to gather more loot from inside and go on to their next adventures. And as we walk through the entrance, you can see it's kind of bare. I wanted to keep this area a little more open just so the guards can walk around a little easier and get to their stations a little quicker. And of course just to keep it a little light before we walk into the settlement. But as you can tell we have a guard structure over here to the left and if we swoop over here we can see a guard tower. And as we head over this way to go up the guard tower we can see one man just heading down which is kind of odd. Oddly enough, we see Trashcan Carla just hiding in the corner. It's good to see her here as well, probably just waiting to trade. And as we walk up here, we can see the Starlight sign on the side of this building, which is good. It lets people know where they're headed. And if we look over to the left, we can see an overview of sorts of Starlight Hub in almost its entirety. And as we turn around, we can head up to the guard stand. As we can see, this guy is just chilling here. He has a pretty good lookout from here, except for this big billboard. I realize that is a pretty big thing in his view. But the guard over here to the bottom, I thought, actually made up for the lack of sight that he has. And if we look over here, we have the next part that we'll be looking at, which is the clinic. But first, I wanted to do an overhead shot of Starlight Hub in its entirety just to give you guys an idea of what to expect in this episode and the upcoming episodes for this settlement series. From this overhead shot, we can see the entirety of the Starlight Hub. Right now, we are floating above the guard tower that we were just standing on. From the bottom, we have the entrance area, which we just looked at now, and we'll look into a little more detail in just a second. And then to the left of that, the white building is the clinic, which is what we'll be looking at next. From then on, we have the market, which will come in a later episode, the residential area, which will come in the future, the garden and executive area, and then last but not least, the killer quarry, which is an arena that I decided to include in Starlight Hub, because I always really like the combat zone, so I decided to keep that in here. So stay tuned for all these episodes just to see all of these districts in its entirety. But for now, let's move back on to the entrance. From here, you're probably wondering what I had done with the diner area for the Starlight Drive-In. 
I was going to put a trader inside of here because, well, it looks like it would have been a good area to put one. But I never quite got it down, and every time I tried putting stuff in here, I just kept getting crashes for some odd reason. Of course, this area was more of an afterthought. But instead, I put this more as a Minutemen barracks area for all of the guards, just in case something bad goes down. As you can see, there are laser muskets and Minutemen gear just for them to grab just in case shit goes down. Now back at the entrance, we will be heading towards the clinic. As you can see, it has three entrances. The first one being outside, of course, from the entrance area. One from inside of the train tunnels. And then one from the market area, which I will show at the end of this video. But for now, let's head through the entrance through the train. Through here we can see a waiting area with plenty of seats just in case anything bad were to go down and there needed to be a lot of people to wait. And of course we have the main doctor of this doctor's office. And as you can tell from the back she has an NCR flag, but we'll get to that in a second. As you walk through this door, there's another waiting area with a couch. And then through here is the doctor's office. As we walk through, you can definitely tell she's affiliated with the NCR, or at least was. But of course, she is here in the Commonwealth helping other people. As you can see, she has enough medical equipment to get people back on their feet. And if you look over here, she has a synth on the table. I had the idea that since she was from more of the West, she didn't really know what synths were. So she decided to take matters into her own hands and operate on one just to see what really makes them tick. Now as we head back out towards the waiting area, and head to the door on the left, we will be greeted to the stairs that leads to the other doctor's offices. There's another waiting area with a lot of safety signs and a clock that is, of course, broken, as well as a window looking out towards the market area. Through the next door just past the window is the bathroom area, just for any of the people waiting in the hospital just needed to go and take a dump or something like that. And as we back out and go to the left, we have the next doctor's office, which has pretty much the same amount of stuff that the doctor's office had downstairs. I did have settlers that were working up here, but for some reason when I was doing this recording session, they just didn't show up at their posts. Which is fine, typically happens in Fallout settlement builds. As we head back out, we can just see a few more details from the lobby. there are windows peeking out of the settlement, of course. As we head back downstairs, we can see the back entrance, which leads to the residential area. And as you can see, there are dumpsters and trash cans just outside. And of course, the back of the medical center. I didn't want to do too much for this back alley area. It's more of just a back entrance, just for the workers and just in case of emergencies. I just wanted to keep it simple back here. But as we head back inside, towards the market entrance,
and that's it for the first part of my Starlight Hub series. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you guys did, be sure to leave a like, and be sure to subscribe as well if you want to see the rest of the Starlight Settlement, and if you want to see the new Questmon series that I'm starting up pretty soon. I'm pretty excited to be doing that. I'm basically going to be playing through quest mods through Fallout 4. I've noticed that quest mods are those type of mods that typically get put under the rug beside all of the usual weapon and armor mods that are typically thrown out into the modding community. I've been with the Fallout modding community for a long time, but I've never actually dove into the quest mods for Fallout 4. And I'm pretty excited to, and I thought I'd share it with you guys as well. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below, and if you guys would like to see that. And of course, let me know what you guys think of the settlement as well down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for sticking through to the end of the video. Alright, that's it for me. I'll see you guys on the next one.